walls, the front sides, the roof, and even the doors that we will have a look on them later on. So in this part, I would like uh, to uh, emphasize the envelope. That means the greenhouse structure and the greenhouse uh, components that provide the proper conditions uh, for, uh, the, um, for the plants, for cabbage or other crops to be done carefully and to be done uh, in good uh, uh, manner and, and good conditions, I mean, uh, uh, in this greenhouse. Okay, if we have a look uh, on the uh, greenhouse, greenhouse as the envelope, it's of course built out of uh, the uh, steel structure uh, as arches, uh, columns, uh, gutter, as you see uh, here. This is the gutter uh, that uh, collect the, um, the rain uh, water in the winter time when it's raining and evacuate it outside the greenhouse to avoid flooding of the plants uh, in the greenhouse itself. But uh, I would like to show you uh, how this greenhouse can be shifted easily uh, regarding the cover itself, the roof itself. The roof now is uh, with insect proof net with 50 mesh, means 50 mesh is 50 uh, ropes in each uh, inch means that the holes are very small and the holes are very fine that um, uh, white fly, uh, butterflies, uh, a lot of insects cannot go through uh, the greenhouse or the, the, uh, the cover itself. So it's full protection against majority uh, of um, uh, caterpillars, white flies, aphids, um, uh, leaf miners, and a lot, uh, leaf hoppers, a lot of uh, other uh, components or other uh, insects. Uh, and if you look here on this part, uh, this is the plastic cover that it's now, now it's resting uh, here uh, and uh, it will be, it was used the last winter, but now it's just rolled and waiting down here uh, uh, in the greenhouse to be used later on to be shifted uh, with the uh, insect proof net. The insect proof, proof net very soon, uh, maybe the next week, it will be put down instead the plastic uh, cover and the plastic cover will be uh, uh, sprayed uh, uh, up and will be connected to the structure of the greenhouse using some aluminium uh, 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 pieces to be just fixed and holding the plastic uh, uh, outside. But in both cases, plastic or, or, or net, uh, in this case, uh, can be shifted easily. Even you can see some clouds uh, appearing there uh, from the uh, from the uh, cloud, uh, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, shows that it's almost clear, but it's not clear uh, actually. It's about 15% uh, shading, uh, insect-proof net made of polyethylene, and uh, this uh, polyethylene is aimed to give the uh, proper shading somehow and protection against insects as a hundred percent full protection on them. The plastic itself that can provide the, uh, the protection against rain and uh, low temperature because the uh, winter time uh, in Israel at least uh, when it's rainy it's combined with low temperature. The temperature uh, could uh, go lower and drop to uh, ranges of five degrees, uh, two degrees, three degrees, but the, the average is about 10 to 15 degrees during the winter time. But a lot of rains may come through uh, the uh, insect proof net. This is why it's shifted to plastic. The plastic itself is 120 microns, means 0 0.12 millimeters uh, thickness. It's IR, infrared, that uh, use used to increase the temperature inside the greenhouse, and actually, the uh, uh, it increases the temperature and keep the temperature by night as stable as uh, uh, desired, and uh, direct protection against the uh, the winds, direct protection against the rains and the low temperature. In the other hand, the net 
is a protection against insects. It's kind of shading and natural ventilation because accumulation of heat inside the greenhouse usually is clogged or accumulated some um, how in the upper part, but it's streamed directly through uh, the net outside and causes uh, ventilation and reduction of the temperature uh, uh, easily. Even if we look at the uh, front part of the, uh, the greenhouse, there are some connections here between the sections of the greenhouse. You see that even the, um, uh, the front supposed to be protected, full protected with, uh, with uh, the uh, nets and providing the proper um, uh, ventilation and the proper uh, shading uh, uh, as well to decrease dramatically the temperature and to have the uh, suitable ventilation uh, all over uh, the, uh, the greenhouse. And uh, with this part, I just want to, to show how it looks with the, with the main road of service for the whole greenhouse. This greenhouse is about uh, four hectares, uh, 40,000 uh, square meters. And it's owned by the farmer, Mr. Saeed Nasser. Uh, uh, he's uh, one of the biggest farmers uh, in, uh, in this area, growing a lot of uh, herbs and a lot of uh, leafy vegetables. And the greenhouse is well arranged. And this is how it's done, actually, for growing uh, herbs and leafy uh, vegetables. In the um, uh, 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 sides, as we see here, uh, also, the, the sites are protected 100% uh, uh, with uh, the insect proof net. And this insect proof net is uh, providing the full uh, protection from sites as well. I will go, uh, go closer and show. So, this is the side uh, of uh, the uh, greenhouse structure, and uh, it's uh, uh, also uh, protected with insect proof net. This insect proof net, as I said, it's 50 mesh, is installed properly uh, on the sides using uh, the wood structure and the steel structure to provide the, the full protection. Uh, I'm going to show you also how it looks from uh, this side as uh, the, the plants uh, in this side and uh, the whole front or the whole side uh, is protected or are protected with insect proof net properly with zero holes even if uh, some holes uh, they should be and already covered with some uh, a piece of uh, net to avoid any uh, entrance of insects totally to uh, this uh, greenhouse so in uh, in general this is uh, how the uh, greenhouse is protected uh, with uh, the insect proof net totally and uh, uh, can uh, can show also the the roofs that well protected uh, with the nets in this period of the year and later on they will be covered of course by the polyethylene sheet I would like to show you uh, still in this greenhouse how the rows are arranged uh, else than the main uh, the main service road, there are uh, um, sub-service roads in each section or each garden of the greenhouse. And uh, this, uh, this road aims to assist the farmer uh, with uh, having the uh, proper uh, service to bring the machinery uh, inside or the harvesting tools inside and assist the uh, the workers to do it uh, precisely and efficiently now if we look uh, at uh, the uh, if we look at the rows themselves and uh, we can see that the rows uh, are 50 centimeters in between this is how it starts so this is the first the uh, the end of uh, the drip pipe and uh, this is how it's arranged for each row one single uh, pipe of, uh, of irrigation uh, and uh, all of them running until the end of the section until the end of uh, this part that it's about uh, 50 meters uh, length and each uh, row here as you see 
they are growing very uniform, very nice, uh, all the same age, all the same performance, the same height, the same size of, uh, of leaves, growing properly and uh, nice. So it's almost 100% use of the greenhouse. I'm going to show you the other side that it's the most, one of the most developed um, uh, sections and ages. Also uh, in this part, in this part we can see uh, the rose. And these rows uh, uh, with the plants that are already uh, fall developed, each row has its own uh, drip pipe, as you see here. And each plant is getting the proper quantity of irrigation. And the result to show the uniform, very uniform and very uh, um, nice performance of uh, the plants all together so, uh, that uh, are showing the same uh, performance and the same behavior. Uh, very impressive, very nice, uh, well done result. Regarding the irrigation, uh, also I would like to show uh, how valves, manual valves, uh, are controlling the different sections. If you look here, you see uh, these are two valves uh, uh, or three valves. Two valves um, uh, here are controlling the uh, sprinklers and one valve here is controlling the drip irrigation as you see that the main pipe is uh, just controlling the rest of the uh, drippers that you see uh, there so one manual controls the dripper two manuals are controlling the upper irrigation the sprinklers and it can be like this for each section of the greenhouse to uh, have the full control, in this case manually, uh, um, uh, of the irrigation. And uh, here another section of the greenhouse. Also, uh, it has three uh, valves. If you look uh, here, you will see uh, the valve is controlling, seems to be for, for the uh, sprinklers, but actually is not controlling the sprinklers. If we just follow it, we will see that it's going up and then going down to control actually the, uh, the drip irrigation system for the uh, parallel uh, uh, pipe or the parallel section of uh, the uh, greenhouse. So in both uh, cases, uh, the uh, uh, control the valves are controlling in this case uh, the different sections if it's for the sprinklers or if it's for the uh, sections uh, of uh, drippers all can be controlled here in this case uh, manually later on we will see how the center head control is uh, doing okay I would like to show you also how the greenhouse is protected uh, from the outside uh, uh, of it and how the doors as you see uh, on the upper side uh, you see uh, the roof has has also covered with the insect proof net all over and even to this side you you see that the greenhouse is protected all over with the insect proof net uh, with uh, full protection as the full envelope is covered uh, with, uh, in the upper part is with uh, insect proof net and the lower part, uh, the curtain, I mean, is with uh, polyethylene. If we go back to the door uh, of uh, this greenhouse, the door is built in very unique method as curtains of uh, nets to avoid entrance of insects inside. And I'm going to show you, uh, we can go closer a little bit and I can uh, show you how uh, these curtains and how this door is designed and built. So actually, uh, as we see, there are few curtains. This is the first curtain, then the second curtain. And if I need to go inside the greenhouse, I should
go in between them. In between them, I cannot go straight. I cannot go straight, only in between them. And there are also another set of two curtains more. So it's four curtains to avoid entering of any of any insects inside the greenhouse. So it's full, uh, full envelope of uh, protection uh, with the insects uh, uh, against the insects in the greenhouse as well.